Hey, nice to have you back here in this new video. Today, let's talk about the Ricoh Theta Z1. Actually, we're gonna talk about the Z1 and the V because we're gonna dive, we're gonna focus on the latest plugin design from the Ricoh official uh, community. Actually, in this video, I will not teach you step by step how to install a plugin, how to use a plugin, but we're gonna dive into the description of the plugin design in this uh, plugin store.cita360.com where we can find all of the plugins designed by the Rico Cita and the third party developers. Uh, from the Rico plugin section, now we can see there's a brand new instant night snap plugin. The, this is official design and I'm very curious about the design. I, I want to explore, I want to find the philosophy behind this plugin. So I tap into the instant night snap and let's take a look at the description of the plugin. You know, in the coming next year, 2022, I think a lot of 360 camera gonna release on the market. And I, if you are a camera industry designer, you could definitely learn something from my video. And if you are one of the 360 content creator or 360 photographers, the judging from this video, you can also benefit a lot on how to capture amazing shots, uh, especially at night. You can see the plugin make it easy to capture images of illuminated street. Uh, actually, for the illuminated street, there are some spotlight, there are some light that's, that's very bright highlight, and also really dark shadows. Actually, if you want to capture a good illuminated street photo, uh, it is very critical to have the exactly the right exposure. It's not the precise exposure, but just the right exposure. Ex exposure for the highlight and overexpose a little bit. Take an amazing shot of the illuminated street. Actually, it's, it's quite challenging for the Theta Z1 or Theta V. If you know how to use the Dual Fish Eye RAW plugin, it's a piece of cake. But for most of customers, especially you are an amateur photographer, you know, uh, we won't have a 360 camera that is easy and simple enough to capture stunning photographs. Actually, when shooting nice scenes with the Ricoh Theta in the shooting mode auto, Images do not always turn out exactly the way the scenes looks. It is necessary to change the shooting settings depending on the light conditions in order to capture beautiful images of scenes with insufficient lighting, such as the night scenes. The Instant Night Strap plugin configure in optimal shooting settings for night scenes so that you can easily capture images of illuminated streets. So actually, in the previous section, I think Rico has explained what is the auto mode uh, in the Rico's engineers. So the, the auto mode in charge of all the shooting scenarios, not just in night street, but also in daytime, in action scenarios, do whatever you want. Sometimes explorer criteria is quite complex, uh, especially when you take a shot at night. It's quite difficult to distinguish from one of the criteria to another, especially when you have to help the user to capture stunning photographs in daytime and night at the same time. So sometimes the shooting mode auto will not always be awesome. It's not always the best choice for you at night. That is the reason why Rico want to add a night auto mode, especially for the Theta V and Theta Z1. The night auto mode is actually the instant night snap plugin. An instant night snap plugin automatically determines if handheld shooting is performed or change the shooting settings. If the plugin determines the camera is fixed, the image is captured five seconds after the shutter button is pressed. I think this is a very interesting description. You know, uh, if you are entering this plugin, which means you are now in the night shooting auto mode. So the explorer criteria will only be judged on the basis of the night shooting scenarios. If the handheld shooting, which means that your hand is moving slowly or quickly, so to capture a crystal clear sharp image, the camera has to use a faster shutter speed with a higher ISO. That means you tend to get a noisy photo, but uh, you get relatively clear images in the result. But once the images detect that you had put your CTZ1 on the top of the fixed desktop, or some we could say you put it on a selfie stick and let's uh, take an experiment. We already right, put it like that. And I will turn the screen facing towards my camera. If you are shaking our hands, now it's in a handheld position. But if you put it on our tripod, which there is nothing that could prevent the camera from moving to any direction. 
Did you see that? Now it is a fixed position style. Now it's in the fixed position, and we press the shutter button. We automatically enable the five second countdown and take the shot. So this is how it works as a fixed position. Now it is in the handheld position. Do you see that? And it will capture the photo immediately after we press the shutter button with a relatively higher ISO and the faster shutter speed. So this is how it works. Uh, it's quite simple. It's, it's very easy to understand, but let's take a deeper look at the philosophy. Actually, you can use the remote control TR-1 only when shooting with Z1. You know, with the Z1, you can use the plugin and enable your Bluetooth remote control at the same time. But you cannot do that on Theta V, considering there are some uh, structure difference in between the two camera models. So with the Z1, you can use the Bluetooth remote control and still use enable your plugin. Later, the Rico has explained what is the handheld shooting and what is the fixed shooting mode. For the handheld shooting, the Theta Z1 choose the shutter priority mode and we display the handheld position on OLED display for the Z1. So with the shutter priority mode, the faster shutter speed regardless of the ISO to maintain the faster shutter speed to relatively help you capture a clear image to everything around you and immediately after you press the shutter button. And for the fixed shooting mode, the ISO priority mode is used when, when you press the shutter button. And it will give you a five second countdown so you can leave the camera and try to stabilize the camera because when you press the shutter button, there are also a tiny little bit of vibration you can add into the camera body. So five seconds is a quite long for the camera to stabilize itself. Later, there are some tips and tricks to make sure that either skewer the camera and the tripod and set it directly in a, in a stable location to perform a fixed shooting. So you have to guarantee your camera is really fixed because if you are holding the camera really steady, you are also in the fixed shooting mode because you are just too stable for the, for the algorithm to recognize that is the stable table or your, your hand, you know? Equipment such as self-standing monopods are distant from the movement and pivot point to the camera is long. So pressure the button will cause significant shaking. So that is the reason why we can add a second, five second countdown timer. It's a pity that with an instant night snap plugin, you can only capture in JPEG. So that is designed for the entry level users or for the beginners. You know, you can quickly enjoy a relatively higher imaging quality in low light situation. Taking the shot I've already shared with you. Actually, this plugin has been updated in October 10th, 2021, and it requires the 2.0 firmware, you know, when the recall add the, the burst capture plugin and in the latest 3.7, the plugin in the Theta V. So if you look back on the Instant Night Snap plugin, I think we can learn something from the Ricoh designers. You know, especially when you want to shot in manual mode, how to capture amazing shot in low light situation, when handheld or when you fix in the fixed position. You know, when your well camera is fixed, everything is relatively easier for you. But when you are shooting handheld, that is where you can use your shutter priority mode, help you capture a better sharpness. You know, you can use, you can control the shutter speed. When you're shooting handheld, the shutter speed matters most. Okay, next one, let's take a look at this continuous shooting plugin that designed specific for the Theta Z1 at the Formula 2.0. You know, at the Formula 2.0, Rico at the Burst Capture API, finally open to third party developers. And it's a pity that in the official Rico Theta plugin, in the Rico Theta app, they didn't add the, the Burst 9 raw capture capability for the official feature with the live preview that they add an extra continued shooting plugin so it can help you capture nine frames in a row i'm just not satisfied with the plugin you know rico should add all these two plugins into the official control app to help the users better understand and master the c31 you know sometimes to enter in the plugin menu to enable the plugin it takes way too much time for us and especially when you see that you could capture only in JPEG, hmm, I just uh, don't understand. Uh, actually, if you go through all the Rico Theta plugin store, you can see a lot of 
new plugin designed by the official de- community and also some third-party developers. Uh, for the official plugin, this is a brand new Instant 9 Snap, which is not good enough, but actually it helps us to understand what Rico is thinking about. It's a night auto mode. And next one, the partner plugin, you can, I highly recommend you can choose the dual fish and raw plugin, which is insane. I mean, it's insane. If you are, the quality matters most, you have to take a look at the dual fish and raw, or at least you have to take out, take a look at the dual fish and plugin, uh, which doesn't utilize the burst capture API. And there are also some other great design. You can see there's a brand new, there's a SATA live streaming. And there's a summit audience. There are all kinds of use cases that are designed from the third-party developers for different shooting scenarios. And uh, every one of the third-party developers should be very ideal in some specific use cases. Yeah, but for personal speaking, I, the, my favorite plugin should be the Dual Fusion Raw. So definitely check it out. And this is a brief recap on this plugin store for cd36.com. The Rico has registered a new camera on the FCC website. That indicates at least we should learn, we should hear something new in the coming next CES 2022. And I am pretty sure that in the year 2022, Rico will definitely unleash uh, a boomer in the 360 industry with a brand new model. I think it should be very powerful and at the same time relatively easier to use for a wide range of customers from the worldwide. That is all for this video. Just want to give you a recap uh, on the Sita plugin. Uh, I think it's time to give a recap on the Sita camera models because I think this 2022 will definitely remarks another milestone for the Sita cameras. Uh, we're definitely looking forward to next year's uh, new camera launch event. And if you want to know more about the Rico Cedar the camera, too, so don't forget to sum up and subscribe to my channel. And stay safe. Until next time. Bye.